Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of the Real Jay Burnham Show. Hey, so uh, do you get flustered when you answer the phone? Do you not know what to ask when you're answering the phone to, to get so that you can uh, get the proper information that you might need or get what you need out of the customer? Do you get flubby when you do it? Well, you're in good news because I know at least one of you has asked for this information. I'm Jay Burnham and I am the real Jay Burnham and this is the real Jay Burnham show. I have no idea which episode we're on, but I know we've done like 40 some different shows and we do one every single day. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. You can find a little subscribe button below this video probably, or at the end of the video, you can just scribe it. It'll be over, over one of these areas. Just hit the little round thing with my ugly mug in it. Boom, there you go. All right, guys, excellent. So today, let's talk about answering the phone. Answering the phone is one of the most crucial and in, important functions of your business, believe it or not. It's actually very, very crucial. Now, unfortunately, a lot of you guys will have your phone. You will give them your cell phone. And what will happen when they call your cell phone? You go, hello. No. That is not appropriate. If you're going to have people call your cell phone, you got to answer each and every phone up correct and professionally. So what you need to do is when somebody calls your phone, hello, you say moving in storage, may I help you today? That is how you answer a phone. You you grant you uh, say hello, you you know, have a nice day, whatever it is. And again, this is how I answer a phone. The phone gives me a call and go Hello, this is You Save Moving and Storage. May we help you? That's it. Hello, this is XYZ Movers. How may I help you today? And then let them speak. Let them give you the answer. That is how you answer the phone. It's really pretty simple. But let's go beyond that. What is it that you're, you're, you're looking for when you need to, to get the information so you can get a um, the estimate? Well, I have made myself up what I call an intake form. So whenever somebody comes in and they call me and look, by the way, it's on these, these little rip off pads. You can just like a, like a notepad. I had them printed up. And so when somebody calls in, I get their name, I get their phone number. I get the address they're moving from. I get the address they're moving to. And then I ask them, how did you hear about us? How did you come to know about us? And they'll say Google or online or, um, yellow pages or oh, a friend of mine used you a year ago and said you guys were the best thing since sliced bread which is true we are the best thing since sliced bread if i do say so myself anyway <laughs> anyway so good so now you got that um then what i would do is i go excellent thank you so much do you live in a house or an apartment are you in a house or an apartment they'll they'll answer one way or the other okay great if it's a house, how many bedroom house do you have? How many bedroom home do you have? They'll answer two, three, four, plus, whatever it is. Good. Now that now that I know that it's a, a, a three, a two or three, four bedroom or plus more uh, house, I now can see in my mind, because I've done this long ago, okay, now I'm going to need two guys, one truck, or I'm going to need three guys in a truck, or I'm going to need two trucks and, and four guys. Do you see where I'm going? There? I'm already in my mind figuring out their quote all right good then i'll ask them i go well is there you know is there going to be anything heavy like pianos pool tables gun safes anything that would require three three or more people and they'll answer well we got a piano okay excellent is it a grand piano or is it an upright spinning piano well it's an upright piano very good so i now know okay got a piano two guys can usually handle an upright piano uh, for the most part, but if they say it's a grand piano, now I know I'm going to need three or four guys. You see where I'm going with this, right? Then I might ask, well, do you have any any appliances? Are they going refrigerators, freezers, washers, dryers, anything like that? And they'll say yes, no, or, or whatever. And then I'll go, are you moving to another house or are you moving to a condo or an apartment? And they'll say, oh, we're moving to another house. Excellent. Very good. Um, and 
And then I'll also ask, is there anything that's of high value, like antiques or artwork, anything that might require special handling or crating? Well, you know, we got a, you know, uh, we got a really good, expensive antique uh, china hutch that comes from a uh, Louis Vuitton back in 16th century. Okay, good. So now I know I'm going to need you know some heavy duty equipment i'm gonna to have to bring a bunch of blankets i'm gonna to have to bring a bunch of padding for that which then i will also charge for but now i know i'm gonna need some specialty uh stuff that's not on the truck normally like bubble wrap etc all right so see where i'm going with that excellent um good now if it's an apartment i'll go great if they say well no they're in an apartment i'll go great what floor is the apartment on is it first second third plus apartment so if it's uh you know third floor apartment okay i might want to get a third guy on that just to speed it up if it's above three th the third floor then definitely i want to bring uh three or more guys uh, so and so forth then i'll also ask are you moving to a house or a, an apartment oh i'm moving to another apartment great what floor is that one on and so on and so forth these gives all these questions give me an idea of how long and how many people I'm going to need to do this move for. And then using my cheat sheet that we talked about uh, yesterday, I, I know that if it's a local move, I'm going to be looking at my cheat sheet, by the way. I know you guys can't see it. But my cheat sheet says, okay, let's say it's a, it's a two-bedroom apartment. It's on the third floor, going to another third floor. I know it's going to be about four or five hours to do that job, um, typically. So I'm going to quote them at, well, for my services, it's going to be $483 on the higher end and i could say I, I i estimate it's going to be about five hours it's going to take about and so it's going to cost you about 483 dollars for the move would you like to get that set up now now unfortunately a lot of salespeople would uh, like to say you know you don't give them a yes or no um they would say you know you should probably ask them what time would you like us to be there nine o'clock or ten o'clock or something like that and that's fine I found what works for me is if would you like us to set up because sometimes I don't want people to feel like I'm uh, pressure pressuring them to to use our services I, I want to come in in more of a low-key more friendly tone I want to give value versus you know be a hard sell um, you know give me that sale you know I'd rather lose a few and make people happy than you get a bunch of moves and make everybody feel bad because they used us because they felt they were intimidated to use us that's me personally you can do whatever you want to do i would suggest the you know you get more flies with honey than you do with dinner kurt just saying all right so that's how i answer the phones and that's how i find out i use this handy dandy little thing here i'm going to put it on the screen so that you can stop um you can whoop, let me get it in there so you can uh, see where I'm going with this. You can uh, stop the thing and, and copy it down and get your own made up. So there you guys go. That's how I answer the phone. That's how I determine how. And that's how I don't flub when I just follow the pattern. It's really pretty simple. I just follow the pattern and I don't have to worry about it. And soon it, it just becomes very commonplace. And then I don't even need this pad anymore, really. I use it just in case because every once in a while I forget or I have a brain fart just like everybody else um, and also that's where I write down all my information so that when they book I can just give it over to uh, put it over on the other desk and we can fill out the uh, all the CRM from there but that's basically how you answer the phone answer it professionally hello this is XYZ moving how can we help you let them talk let them briefly explain what their their services are you go thank you very much how did you come to hear about us? And just follow the pattern. Boom, boom, boom. Now, don't be so rote about the pattern. Don't be so rote that you sound like a robot. Be very friendly. Be, you know, listen to what they have to say because they might, people might throw you off. But if you just stay true to the pattern, but let people speak in between, you're going to do so much better. Anyway, that was, this is a requested uh, video for, I forget who uh, requested, but Thank you for requesting it. I appreciate it. If you got any requests of videos or things you don't have a, you have question on and want to know how I handle it, I'd be gladly do a video. I might not get to it right away, um, but I'll be gladly. But all you need to do is leave me a comment below or send me an email or whatever you want to do or go to my Facebook page and give me a message, however you want to do it, but give me an information.
All right. Anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. I do appreciate each and every one of you coming to my, my channel and watching these videos. I hope they're helpful. I hope you're getting something out of it. I would love to hear some success stories of how you guys are implementing some of these tools and tips. So if you would uh, just leave me a comment below, that would be great. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe to this channel. And please share this with all your family and friends. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.